What's up? Welcome. I'm about to start in a bit. Uh, I do my usual sharing, and then uh, I guess pre-gaming words. Oh, well, I'm glad. Um, <laughs> and it well, I've heard this is a good game, so welcome, welcome. Um, I've made it a goal to start dedicating some time on Twitch. So, uh, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be on Twitch, and Monday, Tuesday, I'll be on YouTube. Uh, yesterday, I finally started Final Fantasy VII. Um, and today, Life is Strange. Monday is Marvel's Spider-Man. And Tuesday is Kingdom Hearts. The first one. I'm on the first one at that moment. Um, all around the same time, 8.30 or 9, or in between then, I start. But... Anyway, I'm glad. Welcome. Um, so far, I've heard little to nothing but how good this game is. Life is Strange. And it's like Telltale's, you know, type of... It's kind of like a Telltale type of game, I think, is what I've heard. I may be wrong. We'll find that out in, in a bit here. Um, but I am excited to play this. And let's go ahead and... Start checking down. Uh huh. Download the cotton. Save game number one. Uh, do I need a Square Enix account? I don't want it. Let's just start. I'm quite sure we don't need it. Life is Strange is a story based on the features player fe that features player choice. The consequences. Now your game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Oh, choose wisely. That's different than Telltale Games. Alright, so where do we begin? The ending? The middle? Or, you know, the great place to start? The beginning? I'm gonna take a gan guess, and it's the end. No, you tell me. It looks like the end of the world. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Or when is here? Right? Wait, there's a lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Alright. Is there a running feature? Pressing all the buttons. No, no running feature. All right, we'll just keep pushing ahead. I like the beginning. It's a dark and stormy night. Wow, that looks horrendous. Was that death on the map? That does not look okay. Um, let's keep going here. Shit. Well, you tell me. Well, yeah, that's that's obscenely horrible. Oh, that's bad. Whoa. That was so surreal. They called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in I black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? 
I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why? Yeah. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Sad mothers and children. Oh, so it's like real-time decision I making. I have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. I do love my analog camera. Seriously though. I should take a quick picture now. Yeah, let's take a selfie on a Polaroid. And any one of you could do that to me. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular <laughs> since the early 1800s. Oh, what is this Your photography club? was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, you're asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Uh... Um, you either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created Ooh, you deserve a punch in the face. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Ooh. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought oh, out fine that? detail in people's faces. My little camera bag is battered but still kicking. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Uh, well, I guess that's where we're going to find out. Let's read. October 1st, October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate let me borrow the October Country by Ray Radbury. Bradbury, excuse me. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in my in one of my old albums. I should find and re I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You so puny, Max. You so punny. Not puny, punny. Uh, at least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy, as my parents love telling me on a loop. You have all the time in the world. This is page 8 of 8. Oh wow, that's a lot to read. Wow. Um Okay. Let's do this. Uh July 10th, 2013, I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes, and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. I guess we'll figure out what that means later, huh? August 18th to... Okay, wait. That's July, summer, August of 2013. Uh, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose I choose to go to the smallest, back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along. 
just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking, with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Au contraire, now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, ah, <sighs> insert heart and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates. Or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. <laughs> that oh dear with a monocle. That's funny. Uh, so maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Next. Uh, August 25th, 2013. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught my mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl. And I never leave Seattle. I never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes. Then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, I can get a tat, some piercing, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. September 3rd, 2013, 12.07 a.m. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before the first day of, at Blackwell. Whew, I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled in a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Street, sweet dreams. Oh, that's at night. September 3rd to the... Okay, so this is the next day. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my, loo of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear. So I chose what was on the floor. I'm not good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the Wambulance. I don't want this day to end all woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. <sighs> There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham. And he's a serious geek. Plus he's dark and witty. He comes across as a kind of know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. 
I'll I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us to do as well. Expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. OMG, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. September 15th? Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guest of Blackwell. The bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell. So Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say jack. I'll get suspended, but him, I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties so they can get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody, but I do, um, everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photo photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course I'm scared shitless to enter at least to have a couple weeks before the deadline in October. So I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. <sighs> September 30. I don't know whether to love to love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to make clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is so much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now how much homework are you avoiding? And then I already read this. Um, Let's see. So here are the pictures and characters that I know of so far. Max. My name is Max Caulfield. And ever since I was a little kid, I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I've always seen the world through my own lens finder. My own lens finder. Maybe it's a way for me to be a part of the world, but at a safe distance. For some reason, I, always, I was always drawn to an old analog camera gear rather than digital tech. I love all kinds of styles and techniques, but for me, the instant camera selfie is the one I love most. I don't care if people make fun of me or not. I'm in great company, right? And now I've come all the way back to my childhood home to study photography at Blackwell Academy, a private school for 12th grade seniors. On a scholarship even. I originally left behind Chloe, my best friend forever, at least until I left without talking to her once in five years, and it feels so weird to be back here without seeing her yet. So I'm 18 now, an official adult, even though I don't always feel so wise and mature. And I'm ready to begin a whole new life here with retro camera with retro camera at my side. I love Seattle CGs. Alright, this is the teacher. Not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you get to be mentored by one of your inspirations? 
I've always loved this, his deco and goth style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. He's pretty hip for his age, but kinda aloof, and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right, but I do think he's preparing us for how tough it is to be a full-time artist. He acts like he understands my own work and obsession with analog images. He really wants me to enter a photo in his Everyday Heroes contest, but I've done a good job of avoiding that. The winner gets to fly to San Francisco to represent Blackwell Academy and get national exposure. I'd like to think my work could be good enough to win, and I'm honored Jefferson even bugs me about the contest. And this is, uh, Kate Marsh. Uh, I've forgotten if I've ever seen Kate Marsh smile or laugh in the past month. She's really sweet and nice, even though the other students make fun of her abstinence campaign. Even if they act immature, everybody at Blackwell are seniors, not high school freshmen. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. She gets a lot of shit, in fact. I know she's involved in a lot of religious groups, but she doesn't preach to me, so I don't care. But she's been extra quiet and introverted the past couple of weeks. She looks like she's in zombie mode. I wish I could help her, but I can barely help myself. I wonder if all that bullying has worn her down. I can see how it would. I have to make an effort to talk to her more often, maybe invite her to tea or a movie. Although she's an adult, I bet she's not allowed to watch R-rated films. Huh. Uh, don't be afraid to comment if you feel like commenting or you know, making an observation of the game or if there's something, you, a random topic you want to talk about. Um, this is a chill stream, so you know, be feel free to pipe in, and comment up. This isn't this isn't one of those. Oh, I'm playing a game. Just focus on playing the, you know, focus on me playing the game. That isn't quite how I like to do the streams. It's it's really chill. So keep it in mind. Oh, let's see. Okay, so this is Victoria. Uh, shush! I'm dreaming. Then there's Victoria Chase, the elite of Blackwell Academy, and a total bitch. And I hate saying that. I just don't know why somebody who's so rich and beautiful needs to be so fucking mean. 18 year olds at a prestigious academy should be evolving into artists and scholars, not reality show contestants. Victoria does everything for maximum drama. She actually wastes her time calling me out in class and taunting Kate Marsh. For reals? I wish her parents could see her in action. They'd cut off that trust fund fast. Then again, she's in, a, in the Vortex Club, and they seem to own the school, so maybe that's why she doesn't give a shit. The odd thing is that she does know art and photography. She can even say all those French names that break my tongue. Her work is a little cold, but she has a good eye. She also has an eye for Jefferson, which is so obvious that I'm embarrassed for her. She does everything but sit in his lap. He keeps his distance, though. We can tell she's trying to win the Everyday Heroes contest. I'm sure it drives her crazy when there's somebody she can't buy or seduce. Ha! And so far, that's all the characters that we know. Uh, episode 1, Chrysalis. Oh, so I don't have the pictures for these yet. Um, Blackwell Academy. Oh, so pictures I've taken. In the different areas I'm at. Messages. A very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Kate. Always. You... Oh, wait. wait. Can I go up? Hey, Max. You around? Always. You okay? Did you want to get tea later today? Absolutely. I'll be free after four. Talk to you later. That's cool. Mom. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Warren, do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please, make sure you check out Necromantic on my flash drive. Mwahaha. <laughs> hey, Mad Max, let's bust shit up. Wait, I have to study for a physics test, so if we bust anything, we also have to measure its velocity. Don't don't ignore this message. Aw, Max is totally ignoring him. him. In your textbook, or even online. Hey. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, 
But don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Poor Max, I guess. Um, so this is rather unique to me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. What's Even this? her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Okay, uh, let's look. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive, everything. It gives me the option to use her tablet. Nah, let's not do that. Photo equipment, Damn, look. they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball I... head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Really, because I don't know what you're talking about. Um, let's look at this picture. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I guess that's cool. Is there anything else I can look at? Can I explore the class? Yes, here's a poster. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Is grunge dead? I don't know. I have no sense of style. Uh, printer. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. Hey, look, computer. I could computer. Pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Can I use it? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Alright. Um, Kate. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Why is Sony? Hi, Kate. Oh. Uh, Hi, Max. She looks like she's been crying. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Okay. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Alright. Her tablet is still there. She's over there. What is this? Hmm. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Can I can I move the camera around? Or is she just gonna yeah, she's just gonna take it. This ain't Spider Man. Can't just move the camera around. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Read. With all of the huh. Okay, so with all the speed expected from the movie, I so much stuff that I don't really care. Alright, maybe I can uh look at the TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Ooh, picture. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Is there anything else to look at? Yes, there is. You can never escape the lighthouse here. You should take pictures there. I don't want to talk to her. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. She probably is. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Oh. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Huh. That was just some interesting words. Books. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Literally, she's talking about stuff that I don't know. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. <laughs> oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? 
Alright, is there anything else I can... There should be a picture here I can look at, right? Poster. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Is there anything else I can look... Nope, that's it. Alright, let's head out the classroom and... Play the rest of the game. TV. Oh, wait, there's another poster here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Uh, let's open it. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying a you Welcome always to the real world. That's cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Oh, I'm uh, what? Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. Square <laughs> Enix. Also, the the, the She's so opening sharp. credits. Don't not entertainment. No, it's, I feel like I took a lot of exposition out immediately. So, all right. Life is strange. Evan. Alyssa. Locker. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. American I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, you. as usual. American girls I'd like to Oh, so can I get like Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Oh, okay. Let's figure out who these people are. So this is Taylor. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Uh, high school. I don't miss you. Are you important? No, apparently not. Bully free me. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Who's Dana? Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Hmm, I guess not. Alright. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. You sure about that? From the text I've seen Warren give you, you seem like his type. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. So that kid's not important. Poster. I wish October would last forever. It looks like she's been gone for months. It's a 19 year old. Two and a half dragon race. Rachel Amber. She's missing. I wonder if she has a place in the story. You're not important. You don't have a name on you. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Let's see. Don't need a PC, miss the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Okay. Uh, what's this? That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Alright. More missing photos. Good thing I left my AK at home. <laughs> Gun free zone. That's funny. Hello, this is Hayden. This is Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Huh. More missing Vortex Club. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, there's the bathroom. 
There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. So I'm looking at all the cool kids now? Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. To all of you, uh, Trevor here? He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Miss? Oh. Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. I hate these posters. So sad. Right. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Probably dead.
Selfie. Wow. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl Selfie. isn't dead yet? The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth I can to skip? the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Uh, is there anybody oh, here shit. Who knows Jefferson wants to keep me after yes, class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to Is there a the limit to how far can you back I can go? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the uh. Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. See here, I have a problem with when you time. Is that the Max, one thing you so change ahead of alters? And guys, don't forget the deadline well, to submit a photo in the everyday I don't know how to explain right now, but like, with the to let's San continue Francisco, on with the story. Fed by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yep, I've seen everything else. Doesn't matter. Time to go. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. That's okay. To quickly undo. Yes, Victoria, you st Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Uh, see, changing my answers... I have a firm philosophy that while I make decisions I in my life... I time to get to the bathroom. I should... Please, please. Are to do I faster. can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. No regrets, basically. No regrets. Alright. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. You went a little too fast. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing right. around with. Where did you get that? If you're ready to change time. 
Come on, put that ever. thing down! Tell me what to do. I'm so I need a hammer to break it open. To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even Whoa. miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? I went back in time you, and Mr. saved the girl from being shot. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. I need to talk to the principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. There's gonna be is a backlash. It? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Yeah, because he's Please one of the, the kids, one of the, the, rest of the class most popular, talking. part of the most popular family. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Okay, so I won't be able to change my outcome if I leave. That's the problem with time. If I can change it right now, I have to I have to stick with the weight of my decisions. At least for the most part. Blackwell Academy. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Oh, man. Oh, uh, where's Nathan Prescott? It's not out here. Okay. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. 
But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. See, this is where the matter of, you know, giving up liberties for the sake of security, that that's an issue. So, um, it could have helped Rachel, David Madsen. That's crazy. Uh, what is the David Madsen choice? Is that the security guard? It could have helped Rachel, but at the same time, uh, that's the hard thing. Um, what's David Madsen? David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that Blackwell old? Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. Oh, the I peace think sign. it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I can agree with that. This action will have consequences, which means there won't there'll be some things that won't get caught. That's something I understand. Aiden. I don't want to talk to him. I'm not talk to her either. I'm not close to her. Fountain. This day has been so insane. And you could rewind it too. Everything is happening too fast. Or repeatedly. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason, and I have to find out why. Oh, that's cool. Do I press the button so she can stand up? Yeah, okay, so I do need to press a button to stand up. Stella. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Okay. Oh. Journal. I got a message. Alright. Hi, Max. You get my flashlight. I need some info in space. Okay. Back. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Where's the dorm? Uh, where's the signs? Open my journal. Okay, Monday. Uh, why is there so much to read? Okay, I read that. Ain't. Okay, this does not exist. October 7th. This will be the weirdest genre entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. But it started with my most vi with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of a cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Acadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face. And I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. 
but I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course Victoria pounced on me and it made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest while Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and clearly wants me to succeed. I feel so shitty. I just wanted to go to the bathroom and be alone and wash my face after that nightmare. Or daymare. Once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd blue butterfly f followed her in right when I took a photo of it. And right when I took a photo of it in a corner, Nathan Prescott came in freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner and this punk girl came in and they started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason, as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly, I could feel the world twisting around me and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed to rewind and I found myself right back in, my cl in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been dosed with some drug until I calmed myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major Groundhog Day vu. Somehow I was able to actually rewind time. I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown or was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save that girl from Nathan this time. Nathan this time. I had no idea how either. I just knew I could live with myself. I could I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rush to the bathroom. I hit in the corner again I couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom before Nathan could shoot her, and I smashed open the ancient fire alarm that scared both both of them away. Victory! Until I got grilled by the security fee chief, David Madsen, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Black Bull Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. I was so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoo David away. Then I made the possibly... Made the possibly... Then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells that I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in a previous timeline. So my school day started with an apocalyptic dream that ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. And that's that's the page. Here are the new uh, characters. Here we have uh, Nathan. Just when I thought Victoria Chase could be in the worst of my social world, not to deal with Nathan Prescott, but I guess he was the one who triggered me my crazy rewind fire by shooting that girl in the bathroom. He's 19 and already scary and already a scary fucking prick. I guess I have a little advantage on Nathan by being able to manipulate time, but if he shoots me, I may not be able to reverse anything. I have to be careful around him, especially since he's obviously got his fr got friends in high places as his family last name is practically branded on every building here at Blackwell. His money against mine. On one hand, I do kind of feel bad for Nathan because he does seem, doesn't seem to be in control, like he's doped up or over medicated. On the other, he's an asshole who nobody has called out. And he almost killed, did kill, a girl on campus. Should I go straight to the police? What do I say about my rewind power? Like I'd say anything. I just have to watch my own back from now on. Oh, school days. And then the security guard here. Well, I swear the security guard is the biggest ass here. And that's saying a lot. He always treats everybody like they've committed a crime or they're about to commit one. He grilled me in the hall today and I thought he was going to arrest me. I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. So of course he would end up at Blackwell Academy in charge of security. Aren't you supposed to feel, I don't know, secure on campus? Bro dude swaggers everywhere with that badge and gun like he's looking to tase somebody. He would make a good photo portrait of authority though. Who does a guy, who, who does a guy like that marry? I feel sorry for his family. It would be like living in a barracks. It, it would be like living in a barracks. Shudder. Just another person I have to avoid at Blackwell. Collect them all. And then it starts over again. Oh, the principal. I can't figure out where Principal Wells is coming from. For some reason, he seems to be suspicious of, of me at all times. Who knew I was that much trouble? He wanted to know why I was zoning on in the halls. I stuttered like a fool. He has so much power over my scholarship, I get uber nervous around him. I've seen him laughing with other teachers and students, so I know he must have a problem with me. 
He also seemed a little stressed out. I would be too if I had to oversee Blackwell and all its drama. I thought I smelled alcohol on his breath. That could have been his cologne, right? But I remember my first meeting in his office. He was so nice and made me feel like I was becoming a part of a special world. He said he'd hoped I'd become a great photographer and someday return the favor to Blackwell. I thought that that was a bit of wishful thinking, but it made me feel good. I just need to lay low around him until I can somehow gain his trust. Alright, and then we have... Rachel and Amber forever. That photo from the desk. Um, let's see, where are the dorms? Dormitories, oh, this way. Okay. Totally went around in circles because I could. Photo album. I don't want to talk to Evan. Maybe in a different run through. This this game is starting to remind me of uh I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. Of uh what's what's that game? Oxen free. Go to dormitories. This game is reminding me of Oxen Free. Oxen Free is a very good game. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Bring it, bro. So these are the dormitories. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Hold on, hold on, what's the this? Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Oh, these checks. Can I enter through here? No, okay. And I guess I need to enter from... Enter from the actual front over here. Oh my god, do I really need to go through those girls? That's so irritating. Oh shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Oh wow, you deserve a slur. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Oh. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Is there a way I can uh, take a picture of these girls? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Probably over here. Oh, that's a sprinkler. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. <gasps> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Awesome. I'm going around. Do you understand English? Get lost. Okay, I guess I need to drop paint on her. How am I gonna do that? 
How am I gonna do that? Can I climb this? Nope. I must have missed something. I should rewind. I must have missed something. Hold on. Is there something I can take in here? I'm actually not sure what to do. with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. No. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay. That dude didn't say anything, though. I guess there's just some things I can do. Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. So I did it just in time for the paint to go. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I'm not horrible. I mean... I totally you know messed up. Let's get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> you deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know. I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. That's interesting. That is very interesting. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. I could have. I honestly, yeah, I could have, but I think messing with her like that was enough. Right? Room <laughs> Red Rum. No way in hell am I ever going in here. <laughs> Red Rum. As if Pissed we took so long. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Truly pathetic. Okay. I uh, head to my room. What's this? Juliet, extreme reporter. Huh. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Huh. Poster. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Bathrooms. At least that's an alarm from this century. Looks like nobody won this TP war. 
There's nothing left but ghosts. Missing persons. Be alert on campus. Observe the following. I can't read that, so always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are or where you're going. Always report incident immediately to the campus authorities. Download a free campus alert app, blah 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 blah. Could be fun. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Read. Uh looking for like minded souls to read and discuss authors Ursula K. Le Guin, Robin Hobb, Neil Gaiman. Oh, Neil Gaiman. I wanna join. Uh Piers and oh wait, this is probably a girls group. <clears throat> Terry Brooks, David Calvo, Marianne Zimmer Bradley, and the usual flying dragon shit. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. No boys, period. Contact uh huh. For sale. Uh huh. That's cool. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Uh, what's this? Showers. All right. Poster. What does this say? They live. Okay. This is just mean and stupid. We'll bang for Jesus. This action will have consequences. Okay. Sometimes we should accept our consequences. Max's room. What is this thing? Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Well, Warren likes you. That's plainly obvious. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Maybe you do. <laughs> obvious, but true. Enter. Oh, wow, this is a really nice room. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Wow. That's a cool room. What is this now? Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate, sick, you on your taste and eagerly wait your in-depth review of Cannibal Holocaust at Ultra Vixens. Peace, Warren G. Teddy bear. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see. SM message from mom. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told me tall tales of Blackpool's honor student. Is this true? The principal said it was a serious false charge and that he was worried you're telling stories. Call me. Yeah, I figured. I'm not gonna lie down. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day mom and I sewed that together. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Art books. Cartier Bresson, Doino, Hamilton, the greatest. I should hit the thrift store and pick up some dollar vinyl. Is that too hipster? I don't care. Music inspires me in my photography. All right. There's my poor laptop begging me to check in. Let's use it. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. That's nice. Here's my go-to source for instant photo inspiration. Let's see here. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time.
What's this? Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. That's water the plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. This action love consequences. Okay. Uh, I'm not looking through a viewfinder. I'm looking through a window. Always looking. All right. What's this? I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go, Go Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds. Oh, what's this? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Let's play a bit. You know this game is good for like small moments. Like this right here. She's just in her room. Just chilling. That's really interesting. That's definitely different than uh I guess Telltale games. Well granted I haven't played any of the most recent ones, or their last ones, their final ones, but this has a very nice feeling to it. At least I was able to play until the end of the song. That was cool. Um, let's see here. Clothes. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. What's this poster? Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? Uh, cookies. I love that Mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. That's so nice. You know what would have been smart? Taking a picture. Taking a picture of that moment of Nathan Prescott pulling out a gun. Red eye. Nice. Um. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. And it will keep going on Maybe forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or I don't know. Poe said, a dream within a dream. Well, life moves on. Let's go ahead and get that flash drive. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Uh. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So stupid. Juliet looks like she's ready to throw down. <clears throat> hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? You uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Uh, Mason. Uh... Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because yep. we're cool. Juliet Watson, you be nice. You I'm flattered. Ridiculous. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. No, you don't. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. 
unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. Okay. Um. I guess I need to go to Victoria's room now. Um. The door's open. Why is it open? That's sketch. Um. Shoes, clothes. Those aren't important to me. Uh. What is this? Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, camera, that doesn't matter. Look. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. Look, laptop. What is this? Yeah, okay. Um. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Nope. Okay. Um. I'll give Victoria. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Okay. How do I print this? This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. At least she didn't get caught. That would have been all bad. Okay, okie doke. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Yeah, sure, okay. Uh, Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Is that a pregnancy test? That looks like a home pregnancy test. That's not my problem. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> That's so nice. Let's speak hey, to Hey Dana. Seriously. Thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Alright. Um, let's go. Oh, wait. Is there a way I can take a picture in here? Cheerleader outfit. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Can I take a picture of her? No, let's just speak. Let's look. Letter. I don't want to look at the letter. That's her stuff. A lot of this stuff is not my problem. Okay, well, I'm out. Warren. Um, my camera will be ready to see you shortly. Hope so. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I, the more I text, the longer I take. I'm away. Bye. Alright. So I have more photos here. Oh. 
Uh, let's see. Okay, let's see here. Everything feels so surreal right now. I can't talk to anybody about this. Well, the only person I could, I haven't seen in five years. I could confide in Warren. He's smart and knows science, so maybe he could even think of an explanation. Though I have no idea what that could be. Until I can figure this out, I better stay on my on the down low with this stuff and focus on my classes. Warren sent me a text asking for his flash drive back, even though I haven't had the chance to check out all the cool shows and films on there. I wanted to watch a few episodes of Doctor Who and X-Files, binged on Full Metal Alchemist, then Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill, all kinds of Amazon women, black and white, black, badassery, Tetsuo, a total cyberpunk trip with amazing visuals, and Scott Pilgrim for about the millionth time. On a side note, I saw a missing persons poster on campus for Rachel Amber, a pretty Blackwell student who, has, who vanished. It's so sad to see her smiling face and think about the awful things that could happen. If there was a way for me to rewind back six months, I totally would. I had to go back to the dorm to get Warren's flash drive, and yes, Victorious and her Vortex, Vortex Vixens blocked me from getting in, even and even took my picture. It was so high school movie. I can't believe she did it. She actually told me to go fuck yourself, fuck your selfie though. It was funny. I don't know why she has to act that way. She already has everything she wants, doesn't she? And she forced me to use my rewind until I finally came up with a way to get her out of my way. I don't want to use this power for trivial bullshit. Especially if I have been given an actual gift from the universe, but it did give me a chance to test it out. But I felt like shit seeing Victoria sitting there by herself on the steps covered in paint. She didn't look like the Queen Beach of Blackwell, just a lonely girl as confused as me. I knew I had to find out if she was okay. She was actually nice and apologized. She even deleted the picture she took of me off her phone. So maybe there's hope for the future. More high school drama. Juliet wouldn't let Dana out of her room because she thought Zachary was sexting. That she thought Zachary was sexting Dana. So stupid. I was so tired from everything, and since Dana borrowed Warren's flash drive, I had to intervene. Julia told me uh, Victoria was the one who gave her the inside scoop on Zach and Dana, so I knew that Victoria was playing them all. I snuck into Victoria's room and on her laptop, and found out that she hadn't that she was indeed lying through her ass just to create drama. Of course, I felt like a weasel going through Victoria's room and laptop, as well as finding all the stuff, you know, in Dana's room, which was, you know, none of my business. Alright, uh, let's go find Warren. Fuck this shit. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Damn, I better rewind. Fuck this shit. Ow! Okay, hold up. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. But the window broke. Hold up. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. That's fine. Now that's what I call instant karma. Take a picture of that. Yeah. Zoomed in. Trophy. Alright, uh, who are you? Zach. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Okay, whatever. Oh, what's this? I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Go to parking lot. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation.
Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt this like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. That's fine. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business? Oh. We should, uh... Follow through with our decisions. And maybe in the next playthrough, we'll go ahead and rewind time. But for now, I'm more focused on, you know, pushing ahead. Well, we'll get in trouble for saying Nathan Prescott had a gun. Okay. Uh, I'm glad I stepped persons. in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Yeah. Is that Julia? I don't get it. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zach and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Alright. Let's go ahead and talk to Warren. And can I save at this point? Oh no, it's it's uh checkpoints, okay. Or no that's that's it. Language and subtitle settings, subtitles, yes, subtitles, yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. There's nothing to worry about there. Um Come on over here, please. Look at Warren and his wayback machine. He's a brave man. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? <laughs> All right. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Aww. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Oh, now that's so the sad. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? I've been busy. No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? Aww. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. <laughs> Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. 
Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, I told bitch. him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Well. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Are you going to say I saved oh, your life? Thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No, you were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Is there no is no one gonna mention that she saved her life? Is no one gonna do that? Don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. So 
so that just tells me there's more stuff added into the uh, journal. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Okay. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. We'll continue uh, next week on Sunday. Um, so far, so good. Um, there are some decisions that I kept just because. I have an issue with time. Uh, well, you know, time powers, time travel. But, uh... I'm sure there'll be chances for, like, a, a redo playthrough. But for now, I'll be focusing on just finishing this game. Um, so, this has been Omnisi Stall. Out. Thank you for watching. And until the next time... Excuse me. Until the next time. Have a good night. <laughs>